Let's face it, parenting is the most important job on earth. Every day presents a stack of different challenges, and more often than not, the answer is outside of the box. On this podcast, we will offer proven strategies, interview pioneers in education, give insights into how to be successful parents, and even share our imperfect experiences of being parents ourselves. We're all in on this journey, and we will span the globe to find out what is working and who has the answers. This is the Sound Foundations for Parenting podcast. Here are your hosts, Darren McCarthy and Brian Powers. Welcome to the Sound Foundations for Parenting podcast. I'm Brian Powers. And I'm Darren McCarthy. Darren, today we are talking to Alex Doman uh, from the Advanced Brain Technologies, and he has his uh, listening program and multiple other things that he's into. I know you've known Alex for for many years. He's definitely giving us some helpful tips for for everything we're kind of going on that's going on right now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I met Alex, I believe it was 1999 right after he had started Advanced Brain Technologies and particularly the listening program. Uh, I sat in the back of a room and watched him warm up by putting headphones on before he became the speaker. And I Mm -hmm. thought it was fascinating that somebody was kind of getting their energy from music. And then the more he dove into the, the purpose of using music and uh, what they do with the music in the kind of the post-production really kind of lit my fire. I was like, you know what, if this is that outside bo- the box tech, you know, technique. And, uh, and he filled the room, which was, I thought, fascinating back then. One of their main avenues uh, to get the listening program kind of out there in the early years was to work with occupational therapists and speech pathologists and audiologists and educational therapists and this whole network of professionals and to fill a room with with those individuals and be talking about something like auditory training was pretty you know pretty cutting edge back in the day sure and then i don't know if you heard him say this but you know they're in over you know 40 countries now i believe it was and and uh, a million people have have done the listening program now you know after Crazy. after all these years so and and so obviously from there alex kind of expanded from the listening program to, you know, the sleep, sleep genius program. And he also has brain builder and a whole slew of our other programs that can help families. He, and, you know, uh, his bio says entrepreneur starting off and, and that definitely resonates throughout everything he's done. I don't, I feel like he, he's got a ton of stuff waiting in the wings to unveil and, you know, TEDx speaker, best selling author, and, and even a podcast host. And he just, it, it doesn't stop. Yeah, and I think that's because I mean, because again, like like his grandfather, he's he's resilient in in his his desire to help kids, and and with that, uh, with that creativity of outside the box kind of thinking, he's yeah. like he's going to be expansive in his approach, and he's got that entrepreneurial spirit too. But I think the most important thing, the most interesting thing, was that they're offering this program for free right now because they know that people need to de-stress and that they know that their program helps with that. What did you think when he said that? That was free. Uh, Amazing. I mean, definitely they understand, you know, what parents, kids are going through right now. Kind of everyone's going through right now is this. And he, and he basically says, you know, 15 minutes a day of listening will, you know, over a 60 day period will, will definitely help you um, number one, de-stress. And then there's a laundry list of other things that it, that it will help as well. Um, and he said, you gotta, you gotta carve out and find that, that 15 minutes, you know, for everybody in the house. So whether it's, you know, uh, husband, wife or, and the kids just, we got to figure out, um, you know, how to get that listening done. It's almost like exercise and eating right. Yeah. I was reading, a, I was reading a testimonial last night uh, about the program and the beauty of this, the, 60 day deal where it's, you know, where it's free to listen is it gives you that you, that opportunity to kind of change patterns. Yeah. So it becomes a, a, a kind of a forced habit. But one of one of his people was saying that she used to walk the, walk the beach early in the morning and she lives in like right outside of LA and there was nobody on the beach at the time. And now 
she's finding herself having to be quarantined and not being able to go out and so on and so forth. But she puts on her headphones and that takes her into that place of peace Hmm. that, that she used to have by going outside. So, you know, if it can impact somebody like that, she's been doing this for a a couple of years, this program, then I know that some of our listeners and you and I uh, as well can benefit from popping the headphones on and kind of letting our inner, you know, our inner peace kind of take over. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and all of that, all of that for free. (laughs) Yeah. Take it. Take it. So yeah, absolutely. We'll definitely include that link in, in the show notes, but, um, yeah, let's get into the, this episode with Alex and, uh, definitely some, some helpful tips for right now. All right. Hello, Alex, Alex Dolman. Thanks for joining us today. Please give us a little bit of background on you and, and, uh, and, and your businesses. Yeah, Brian, Darren, thanks uh, for having me here. Uh, let's see, the Cliff Notes version. I was uh, raised in a family that's been in the field of child and child brain development, uh, now going on 75 years uh, for three generations. So our, wow. our family has been very committed uh, on the whole of helping people really realize their unlimited potential. And the secret to that is providing opportunities to learn and grow based on our individual strengths uh, and to really harness the plasticity of the brain to do that. Uh, Work started with my granddad, who was a doctor of physical medicine rehabilitation, um, who started some of the earliest treatment programs for brain injury uh, and stroke. Um, my, his brother worked with him and then my father and his sister and their cousins followed in their footsteps. Um, and then in 1993, uh, just a couple years back, uh, I joined my father at his organization, the National Association for Child Development to, uh, research and develop methodologies using sound and music as a tool for brain enhancement and, uh, learning. And I I fell in love with that. And as an outgrowth of that, started a company called Advanced Brain Technologies in 1998, Uh, created a a number of programs, uh, software for brain training called Brain Builder, um, music to enhance our environment called Sound Health, and then really our core um, brain technology, which is the listening program, which is a music listening therapy It's been used in over 40 countries by over 9,000 trained practitioners and a million people uh, as a, as a home clinic school and hospital based methodology. And I just love the brain. Uh, I love people and um, love helping them in any way uh, that we can. So excited to talk about these things today. Fantastic. What a, what a, what a run. And then don't forget to throw a little TEDx speaker in there as well. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, wrote, wrote a book with a good friend a few years ago, Don Campbell, who wrote The Mozart Effect. Uh, we wrote a book together called Healing at Speed of Sound, uh, which, which we believe has uh, reached quite a few people in, in five languages. Uh, I had the opportunity to do my first uh, TEDx talk a couple years back uh, on music in the brain. Uh, which was super fun and you know have started a couple other companies in the space um, started a company called sleep genius seven years ago which uh, had the number one health and fitness app globally in the app store uh, mm-hmm. which was addressed to helping people with insomnia both onset and maintenance insomnia and developing a music-based protocol with some nasa technology to help people sleep called sleep genius uh, and most recently co-founded a company called vital neuro um, which is a neuroscience-based company um, bringing mobile neurofeedback uh, focused on music and sound uh, and, and deep research in that field uh, to the masses to help address stress and burnout. So all, all, all of these things are in the same sphere. Uh, there's some different vehicles uh, focused in different segments um, with different teams to uh, achieve our goals. Um, but the core all grows out of uh, advanced brain technologies in our work here. That's very cool. So, so since, so, so when you, when you started to, to, till now, how is people's um, kind of acceptance of this concept of non-tra- non-traditional approach or using music? How, how is it, how has it changed? I mean, a million people is, a, is not a, not a small number in that realm. 
Yeah, it, it's a great question, Darren. And, um, you know, we knew each other pretty early in, in, in my career. We, we go back a day or two. And it's really changed, changed quite dramatically. And to be honest, I think this is literally a hundred year paradigm shift. Mm-hmm. And we're about 75 years into it because when my grandfather started his practice and he was waking up comatose patients and mm-hmm. using sensory techniques to help them recover from coma, people thought he was absolutely insane. And as my family on the whole has developed treatment programs for brain injury and to help children on the autism spectrum and non-traditional work learners and those with neurological injury with the belief that the brain's plastic can grow and change and we're capable of anything if we have the opportunity, mm-hmm. that the acceptance of these ideas have actually now made it into pop culture. Um, you know, it's far more accepted that the brain can change. There's brain training centers all over the world now. Mm-hmm. There's all kinds of software programs, all kinds of apps and different technologies. And when I started ABT, you know, um, back in the late 90s, practitioners were a little resistant in the beginning to accept that parents could do things at home that could potentially augment or substitute their services. And that acceptance has changed dramatically. So when you say practitioner, we're talking about occupational therapist and speech and language pathologists. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the acceptance uh, in the professional realm has changed dramatically. You know, truthfully, when we started the music based approach, there was not a lot of good research to support the idea. Anecdotally, everyone knew music's good. Music feels good, it's beneficial, but can it be scientifically designed and really change the brain and mood and behavior? And a lot has happened. It's been dramatic to see the change uh, over the years in peer reviewed, right, gold standard studies showing music benefits in all sorts of areas. So science has caught up with what we knew and understood, um, those working in the field with evidence-based music, um, where we were starting based on a clinical realm, right? Clinically, we observe these changes. It doesn't do harm. It helps most people in some ways to the evidence now to really back it. So it's a dramatic shift. I believe in our lifetime, we're gonna see it become commonplace and something everybody does and as accepted and normal as physical exercise. Everyone may not be doing it every day, but they know they should. Sure. Mm-hmm. Fascinating, yeah. So you're, so you're finding when you do your trainings with the professionals that uh, I say they're not half as skeptical as they once were. <laughs> yeah, they're not throwing rotten eggs at the front of the room anymore. <laughs> you, know, we, you know, truthfully, early on, we had some very hostile practitioners. Um, people that literally came to debunk what we were doing to where now we have peer-reviewed gold standard clinical trials on the listening Uh program, many peer-reviewed articles, um, leading hospitals, school districts, the Veterans Administration, U.S. military using our programs and funding them. Um, It's come a long way. Uh Uh-huh. So I mean, I know you personally are, you know, you, you like music and, and, uh, but what kind of got you interested in, in taking music to this other level where it could be used therapeutically? Um, I've always loved music, Darren. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm not a musician. I'm not a composer, but I've been producing music for 25 years. I, I find great people to work with. Uh, so music has always been in me and a part of me and was actually used for me as a therapeutic tool with my father who used music in his therapy programs um, from a very early time. And the love of music was one piece. There was a second piece and that is, I probably should have been diagnosed with auditory processing disorder when I was a kid. And as I was learning some of the European methods of uh, auditory training and auditory therapy and was using them on myself, I began to rehabilitate my own learning challenges and listening challenges. 
And as I shifted and got benefit and then saw the impact these methods were having on the children I was working with clinically, uh, that was it. I just really understood the power of sound and music as a modality that can reach anyone. Uh, unlike other modalities that require output from an individual, they have to work at it. All you have to do is listen and let the music come in. And it's very unique uh, and very universal. So just, you know, the changes that I've seen in people uh, is really what has continued to drive me to today. Now this, I mean, this, this has expanded your, your world to, to meet a lot of phenomenal people. You, you want to give us kind of an idea of some of the people that you've met along the way? <laughs> just a couple <laughs> we don't have enough time for all of them <laughs> you're, you're one um, you know I've had the privilege of speaking all over the world on on great stages um, I think one of the most unique experiences um, what, three years ago four years ago I was in Beijing and keynoted uh, International Association of Music Medicine wow. with hundreds of tr traditional music therapists from China and to actually go to China where it's one of the oldest traditions of music healing mm -hmm. and to have the opportunity to meet with and speak with those practitioners um, that is just cellular for them uh, has been you know, absolutely phenomenal. Um, there are great people in my life that are experts in their field that I have had decades of association with, uh, including our very dear friend Gail Moyers. Um, who's right top of the list uh, of those exceptional people. Um, I've really collected a uh, amazing array of mentors uh, and, and like-minded uh, people uh, in, in the field. So um, it's, it's just been, it's been an incredible journey. There's some famous people uh, mixed in there too, but they're not as, as important to me uh, as the change makers uh -huh. that I've come across. Phenomenal. Let's talk a little bit about the listening program uh, and and the you know the help it can bring to to parents and students. Yeah. So you know, let's talk about the listening program just real briefly. Um, it's a listening music therapy in which you listen to what's called acoustically modified music that has been um, specially composed or arranged and recorded as a therapeutic modality. Um, that is listened to for 15 to 30 minutes a day, uh, five days a week through headphones to uh, enhance brain function and performance. Mm -hmm. And it is a daily practice, a daily ritual, a habit, if you will, um, that becomes a part of your lifestyle. And, you know, the areas that it's, you know, designed to help uh, are sensory processing, uh, you know, the way the brain is perceiving, processing, and responding to touch, sound, and sight, uh, executive functions like planning, organization, short-term memory, uh, executive control, our receptive and expressive communication, both written and spoken, uh, our, our learning skills, uh, our ability to focus and to be in a flow state. Um, help set circadian cycles for uh, sleep rhythms, motor skill enhancement, both fine and gross motor, and uh, social emotional regulation and stress management. So it's a big list, and it sounds like an unreal list. And we have to say, why can something like music touch so many parts of us, and especially specialized music? And it's because music is very inherent to who we are as human beings. We're wired for sound. We're um, one of our earliest senses to develop is the auditory sense. We start auditory learning in utero um, and we pick up on the rhythm and the cadence uh, of the mother's voice and uh, of all of the bodily organs. And we attune to mother and then we attune to our environment auditorily first and through movement. So music is very much uh, a human adaptation and something that is uh, very resonant with who we are. And the listening program is really based on that. And we took an approach with TLP 
to develop mentally model brain development in terms of how we deliver sound to the individual. So we can hear, experience a range of sound frequency from very low tones to very high tones, uh, 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. And through the work of Dr. Tomatis and our own clinical research following on his foundation, we learned that certain sound frequencies affect different areas of human performance. And what the listening program does is that it imprints or maps those frequencies in the brain by providing them with frequency, intensity, and duration so that the brain grows and changes in response to that music and sound. And there is no area of the brain that music doesn't touch. Uh, this has been proven by the neuroscientists with functional brain imaging. The brain lights up more in response to music than any other single stimulus that we experience. So uh, it's very enjoyable, it's very easy, it's very accessible. Uh, and you know, right now, I think if we talk about the current state of things, um, I don't know about you, Brian and Darren, but um, our company is primarily working remotely. Um, those of us that are parents uh, are homeschooling and working from home. Mm -hmm. um, who would have thought that the world would have become homeschoolers. Uh, the homeschooling movement has just grown tremendously. Sure. Now, um, because our work at NACD was actually centered around homeschoolers and that we've homeschooled ourselves, this isn't a big adaptation for our family. But what I can say is that the listening program has become a very important um, anchor for each of us in our day to find a rhythm, to create a ritual or a routine in the day, which is super important when we're at home. So I think we get home and we're out of our routine when we're there daily and we need to set kind of uh, rituals throughout the day to keep on track and organized and not discombobulated uh, at this time. And really important right now is that our stress levels as a global society are at the utmost high they have ever been. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing increases in domestic abuse. We're seeing increases in anxiety, increases in suicide. We're seeing increases in um, actually, you know, eating disorders. Everything behaviorally that can go wrong is going on, going on right now. Mm -hmm. And what the listening program can do for us is to help to reduce our stress. And when we reduce our stress, we support immunity. And we all should be doing everything we can to build our immune function right now. And music is proven to improve and boost immunity. And the listening program has in very, very uh, low immune function individuals shown to make them responsive to their immunal protocols. So, um, the music can help us there. It can lengthen our fuse, build our stress resilience, and allow us to adapt and let things kind of roll off that might feel very tense or uncomfortable. Uh, it can enhance our overall brain function, but the most important thing it can do for us right now is to take us out of fear and out of our fight and flight response to the stressors of everything coming at us and shift us to a calm state. So taking us out of um, in what's called in the autonomic nervous system, right? The automatic brain that functions without our thinking uh -huh. is this thing that regulates us and either puts us into fight or flight mode or into rest and recovery. We're shifted towards fight and flight right now. Mm -hmm. And the listening program can pull us from that sympathetic system to the parasympathetic system to recover find center in homeostasis so that we can be the best version of ourselves for ourself, for our family, for our neighbors and, and coworkers. Um, through that, we have better decision-making. Um, we have more kindness. We have more love. And um, right now, you know, this situation for our kids at home is incredibly stressful. Well, it's interesting because I, I, one of our recent guests is a behavioral psychologist, and she was outlining a separate conversation in our podcast with me that uh, it's going to, it's, 
the kids have been adapting as if they would adapt to a kind of a summer vacation. And here we've had, you know, we've had spring break. So we've really been away from school for just a couple of weeks, but this, this whole pattern is going to get more and more difficult as the, as you know, the parents start to feel the, the economic twist of, uh, you know, burn of, um, you know, the, the, all that stress. And, and the, so the parents feel the stress, child feels the stress. And, he, and she was saying that it's just gonna, it's basically going to get more and more difficult. So your timing coming in um, is, is, is vital. And it's such an easy thing for a family to implement that um, really there's no reason not to do it. And I understand, we understand that you have a kind of a special offering right now. Yeah, we do. Um, you know, we, we were really, you know, thinking, uh, Brian and Darren, what can we do to help people? What do we have that we can give away for free that's accessible to anybody? And, um, you know, the listening programs deliver two ways, either a preloaded media player with a customized music library placed on it, but we also created an online subscription streaming service. So any web connected device or your Android or iOS phone, you can do TLP on. And we had created an introductory program called Shift 60, which is designed to shift your mental, cognitive, and emotional well-being in 60 days. And normally that program is $99. It's been available for many years online. And we're giving that to the world um, for free. And anyone and everyone that wants to access that program, it's theirs uh, right now. And we really hope that, you know, it will do all of the things that we talked about before and give someone a starting point and at least some help right now uh, when we need it most. Yeah, walk us through that, you know, kind of I'm a parent, you know, go to check out the and, and what does it look like? So. I know you mentioned it's all, it can be accessed, you know, any web, web access device. Um, what else do I need to, to get started? Yeah, so I imagine um, we're going to be able to provide a link um, to the online uh, website, yep. which is really? a, a special URL, uh, and I can give that URL now uh, if, if it's helpful. Yeah, and we'll, and we'll definitely include it in the notes. notes. Too. Uh, if we put that in the show notes, uh, it's adbn.co forward slash TLP six zero. Okay. And that will take you to a page where you can sign up for a seven day free trial, the free shift 60 or a pro uh, subscription. So people can select that shift 60 um, program. They'll log in, they'll create an account, uh, no credit cards required for them. Uh, once they're in, they will have access to the first 15 minute session and you'll want to use the best pair of headphones that you have available. Uh, preferably those are over ear headphones and not ear pods or, or earbuds. Um, but truthfully for this protocol, whatever you have access to use uh, mm -hmm. that's in the home. Uh, you can order approved headphones from us that are going to give you a better outcome and results. But li literally for this, use whatever you, you have. Um, you're going to go to your dashboard, Brian. You're going to see a play button. You're going to press play, and the music's going to start playing. Uh, after 15 minutes, it's going to stop, and you show up tomorrow, and you do it again. Nice. Um, when you're on the dashboard, you can get access to download the iOS or Android apps from the App Store. So you can just do those on the phone, uh, or or you can do it from your uh, your tablet or your your computer. So just log in, press play, put on your headphones, show up every day, and in that 60 days, you will create a new ritual. You will have a new positive habit formed. Then once you've done that, then you can go on and use the professional grade protocols. Um, that are going to take you to the next level. Yeah, and no matter you know what's going on in the world, but I think especially now with with the craziness that is happening and and this kind of you know COVID nineteen disaster is is this. I mean, it's something that you need to start. Excuse me, your own routine and and uh, who who can't spare fifteen minutes a day? I mean, I'll I'll speak as a dad of uh, of three little ones that uh, that I can carve out fifteen minutes uh, hopefully to to get started on a on a program like this. Uh, it, well, you're you're right. I always, I always it's always a reminder. I think you've you've heard me say this too many times, Darren. Uh, you have 96 opportunities in 24 hours to find yourself 15 minutes. 
Right. Okay. So yes, we can do it. I mean, especially one. with your with that with that great offering, you know, they can get started for for nothing and get going. There's really there's absolutely no excuses. Yeah, and, and I think it's, it's great that your company is doing that. I think it's great that you guys are doing that, and it's a tribute to you know all of the work that you've done technologically to to get this out there. And I know I know you have done so much work to get this uh, available and have the infrastructure built out so that you can make a call and say, Hey, I'm going to offer it. And it's, and it's readily available and, and you can trust the, uh, the technology to be able to deliver that. So that's a, another accolade for you guys. Yeah. Th- thanks, Darren. Yeah. We appreciate it. No. So I, I will definitely include that, you know, in the show notes here, a uh, direct link for people talk a little bit about too. I mean, what's, what's the environment that someone should try and be in, um, you know, when, when the doing this, yeah. uh, it, obviously, I mean, I think I can, I can guess, but go ahead and, and maybe give us some hints or tips on that. Kind of funny. So I, I create this visual image, right? Imagine yourself and I know we're not on video, but you are the calm in the chaos, right? The storm, the, the tornado of your home life is going on around yeah. you. And what you want to do is find a quiet place um, and create an understanding with your family that you're taking 15 minutes for you. Mm-hmm. You're not to be interrupted. So you want to find the quietest space you can at home. Um, an agreement. So it's set a time each day that you're going to do it, right? And you know each family member, by the way, can have their own program and protocol. They get their 15 minutes. They have calm and quiet. And while you're doing the listening, you can just go in and treat it like a meditation, close your eyes, go in deep, focus on your breathing, or you can do an activity, um, art, artistic activities, arts and crafts, uh, coloring books, um, uh, it, for the adults. Uh, my wife has a massive collection of adult coloring books and <laughs> these great colored pencils. Yeah. And she's done beautiful work over the years of her listening. Uh, this is part of her morning ritual. You know, Mandy gets up and just to, you know, give you an image of a space. She's a 5 a.m. club member. She gets up at five o'clock. She goes to her personal space in the home, which is a loft. She does 15 minutes of listening. She then does yoga. She then does her journaling and she has essential oils um, going through the diffuser at that time. And then she bookends with 15 minutes of listening. Then she greets the family. Hmm. And that's the space. uh, And we give her that space every day to do that. Um, But wherever it is physically and wherever it is in your day, um, just find quiet and try to commit the time. But I do recommend uh, it's a great start to the morning to give you that foundation and that resilience to carry you through the day. Very cool. So, yeah, and I know we, we, we use, when we had little, little ones, you know, and they're not little anymore, they're nine and 11, but uh, we used to use the sound health series to kind of prepare for uh, bedtime. So we have some parents out there, obviously have some, some very little, little kids and, you know, you have that playtime and, uh, you know, piece of music and there's so much that uh, just the sound health series is, is, is a nice piece to kind of add to that. And you can yeah, even have you know, music for babies and sound health, you know, combined, we have, you know, 14 hours of music. They're individual albums uh, that people can download and uh, play in the background throughout the day to really set the mood for the environment, whatever it might be, you know, being more productive, finding some inspiration, proving the focus or just de-stressing uh, or, or getting to sleep. Um, you know, they're, they're great tools to add in along with TLP. This is good stuff. We got so much to so much to do. I got to get off the line here, and I got to uh, go <laughs> download my music and get listening. Go do it. I want to ask for my. I want to ask for my fifteen minutes, though. I think I might get uh, get looked at like I have six heads. <laughs> now, now, Brian, you got it. When you ask for it, you also have to give it. You got to give it. Very true. That's right. Very yeah. true. When you got Brian, you got this fifteen minutes a piece, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and I just split it all up. Yes. You got to do it. Cool. Well, That's great stuff. We appreciate having you, Alex. It was- Alex Doman, thank you very much. We, we appreciate um, the time. And I, I, like I, I said before we got on, I think this will be the one first of many. And you yourself are actually a podcast host as well. So maybe just tell us a little bit about that quickly. 
Yeah, well, first of all, guys, thanks for uh, having me on. This was a blast. Um, yeah, I've got a podcast called uh, The Advanced Brain Podcast, and you can find it anywhere podcasts are subscribed to. Uh, awesome. So we've got some great guests uh, on, on there, some of the real thought leaders in neuroscience, uh, learning, um, brain health. So, yeah, for sure, check it out. Thanks for mentioning it. Awesome. Yeah, we'll definitely include all that in, in the show notes uh, for folks and, and especially that, uh, that link to, uh, to use the uh, listening program as well. So, Alex, again, well, thanks for your time, and, and uh, we'll definitely talk again soon. Good Great. Stuff. Thanks, guys. Keep out there. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of the Sound Foundations for Parenting podcast with your hosts, Darren and Brian. Find them on social media at Sound Foundations for Parenting. And if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a review and subscribe. And we'll catch you next time on the Sound Foundations for Parenting podcast.